360 TV proudly presents Messages of Inspirational Stories. Broadcasting and live streaming to millions of devices around the world, including Roku. And live streaming to Facebook Live. Also on Amazon Fire TV. And to Twitch. Also, Android TV and Periscope. Broadcasting to Apple TV and YouTube Live. Proudly brought to you by our host, Donna Guinoa, producer and host, Michaela Vidal, host and administrator, and Jim Grant producer and host proudly brought to you by the six minute webinar.com welcome to the show ladies and gentlemen we are so glad you're here with us today on messages of inspirational stories and yes i came in laughing because backstage uh jim and i um well we just do silly things and make each other laugh. <laughs> oh yeah, we're we're always having fun. I always like to tease Donna because I know she's going to open up stage. So I'll sit here like earlier. I had a patch in front of my glass. Oh well, that you wasn't know? the half of it, folks. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to see the other half. It's totally boring. Trust me on that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, my Oh. I am. I'm just so excited about doing today's show because I, am I know, too. yeah, the value are we going to be sharing with you folks out there today? My goodness gracious. I wish someone would have shared with us, Donna, what we're going to share with them today. Gosh, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. Well, let's go yeah. back and, and start with your story with uh, you and Don. Yeah. Don McGrath and I, he's fondly known around the world as Dandy Don, and he's one of the co-creators of the Six Minute Webinar. Him and Bill Heinrich are the two uh, people behind that, and uh, they're the creators of it. And Don and I and Bill, we all met down at Speaking Empire. And Don and I, we spent a lot of money down there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not complaining. I'm just stating a fact. Uh, the first three courses I took was 11 days long. It cost me $17,500. And some of the things we learned down there, we're going to share with you today for free mm -hmm. without a penny out of your pocket. So we came back and we realized Don and I, our paths kept crisscrossing and we, you know, we kept, you know, seeing the same disconnect. People will sell you things but they won't help you get from where you are to where you want to be. Right. In other words, yeah, they'll take your money and they'll sell you some more, but they don't have any, there wasn't a connection there or a pathway there to be able to help someone get from the sidewalk to the stage. That's what we originally talked about, helping people get from the sidewalk to the stage. Because Donna and I, we could have very easily pulled our resources. Donna, I came across us two sources and I had the, and I still got, I don't know how good they are. I hadn't looked at them recently, but I still got hundreds of event coordinators mm -hmm. on the world stage around the world. Right. And Don and I talked about, hey, <laughs> you know, kind of like the old, uh, the old Western uh, starting Richard Boone, have gun, will travel. Okay, our, our motto was have passport, we'll travel. Right. Be because these were, you know, places where you would either get paid to speak or you would sell from the stage this, you know, from, right, from your speaking right. thing. Which, and, for those that don't know, we should probably explain that. Yeah. Uh, when you're going to these big places and these, uh, you know, like we've, Don and I, we've spoken in Orlando and many different uh, good stages. He's been on the stage with Les Brown and that's the caliber of, you know, the speaking training that we had. And you'll either get paid to speak, which means you are a keynote speaker. 
Right. And Mr. X that we had on a few weeks ago, <laughs> he's associated to, with people that pay $15,000 for a keynote speaker for 90 minutes. Right. And he is a personal friend of mine and Don's. And so we could have very easily have pulled our resources on our own little circle, been focused only on buttering our own bread. And we would have never been on TV with a TV right. show. We would have never been sharing messages of inspirational stories. I'd have never had the privilege of working and knowing with Donna. And Donna's a, it's like a, well, she's like a sister to me, really. Mm -hmm. A little sister, real little. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, because I'm 73 and she's only 41. But, I am um, not 41. <laughs> I'm sorry, 39? <laughs> oh, you better keep it going. Better keep it going. I got another oh, Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, it's just a number. But uh, anyway, Don and I says, hey, there's a need there. Mm -hmm. And in 2022, the New Year's revolution that you should start building up in your heart right now, you're going to see areas where there's a need. Right. This could be your calling. This was our calling. Okay. So we created the Speakers Pathway Coalition. And we were, you know, we were teaching people things that, you know, people did not know anything about. Mm -hmm. I mean, some speakers say, oh, put me on stage. I want to be a speaker on stage and all that. Okay. Send us your information. Where's your one sheet? Mm -hmm. What's a one sheet? Well, <laughs> not a one sheet. They're going to know you're unprofessional. So this is where we came from with all this stuff. Right. And we knew the kind of people are going to be tracking in. They were going to need all kind of training. They didn't know how to market themselves. They didn't even know how to fill out, you know, a, 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 a decent biography without it talking like, you know, a, a, a full blown book. Uh, we started putting together and we, we had originally eight different executive training directors. Each one had a specialty and they brought in courses and we had memberships. We still got memberships in the scale pathway because we converted that from speakers to scale. But right. I don't want to jump all around. But anyway, what we found. We did not attract speakers that much. Mm hmm. We had people say, I'm, I'm a speaker, get me on stage. Well, that's not who we are. We're, we have memberships and we help our members go and grow. And because speakers are lazy, you know, just put me on stage. Let me talk. Pay me to speak, you know. <laughs> and, well, uh, and, and, and not everybody. Uh, well, just to be blunt, folks, not everybody who, who just wants to be a speaker can be a speaker. Amen. There is there is a <laughs> finesse and an art to it. It is learning how to talk to your audience, how to talk mm -hmm. softer. Hey, mm -hmm. how to be a little bit louder. Mm -hmm. Get them involved. Yeah. And then you pause. So yes, there are so many nuances to speaking mm -hmm. and really getting really getting your audience's attention. And that's mm -hmm. what Jim and Don have just mastered. We didn't like the people who were pitch artists. You know, the people when you go to an event and they almost make you feel dumb if you don't right. buy. Right. I'm going like, I can't do that. That's not who I am. Mm -hmm. I can't. You know, I was brought up differently and I'm a retired master sergeant and leaders lead by example. And good leaders, they don't say, okay, this is what we're going to do. Follow me. Right. Good leaders train their subordinates and they get them to believe in the same business, uh, the basic principles they believe in. And it should be like that because if the leader is sick or if they have to go to the hospital, if they're on vacation, whatever, someone else in the organization can step forward. Mm -hmm. That's what we do in the military. The 31 years I spent in the army, if, if you're out on a mission, a guy gets you know shot. I mean, I don't, maybe I want to be more positive. If a guy gets sick or if he's got emergency leave or something, they are not going to sit around and say, OK, well, what, 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 what shall we do now? I mean, who, who's who's the next one? And everybody's already trained to that standard. Right. Everyone's up to speed. Mm -hmm. And in your organization, you're going to have people you're going to be responsible for. You want to make sure these folks if you go on vacation or if you're 
not within cell phone coverage or whatever. Right. And they have a thing. They know where to go to. They, they can, can carry on. OK, mm. that's what good leadership's about. And I just couldn't, you know, just, you know, sell somebody something. And thank you very much. And I, 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 tell, I, I, I know a lot of these hype. I call them hyper diaper guys <laughs> <laughs> because they're all about selling. But anyway, what we attracted in there were mainly ladies, mm -hmm. 35 to 55 age group. They had been in business for a couple of years and they, they were struggling. And they were looking for someone could, hey, help me earn some money. To give them and, a lifeline. Yes. And Don is was brilliant. And I got to give the credit to Don McGrath, Dandy Don. I tell people, Dandy Don, when you get ready to meet him, or I'm going to introduce you to Dandy Don, he is the friend that you have not met yet. Right. I mean, the man is, you know, I, I knew him for, gosh, over a year, I guess. I mean, I knew he was, you know, all right and well to do, but I didn't know he was a multimillionaire and he held 36 U.S. patents. Yeah, he's he's so stinking smart. It's scary. He's so humble, too. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Like just meeting Don, you would never know that the man has that many patents, that yeah. he is, you know, as knowledgeable as he is, because what I love about Don is he never, ever, ever talks down to anybody. Mm -mm. And he never talks about himself. You know, And he doesn't talk at you. He talks with you. There mm -hmm. is a huge difference, folks. Yeah, yeah. Don is one of those people that he, he attracts people because mm -hmm. they realize he's the real deal. Oh, yeah. And I love, I got to give Don credit on this. Don was the one that came up and said, listen, wait a minute. Stop the nonsense. He didn't maybe say stop nonsense. Just wait a minute. Let the dust settle or something. What is one thing, the one thing that you can do that you're proud of, that you can take from the alpha to the omega? Mm -hmm. Well, it's this program here. Okay. Let's put together a marketing program on that. Mm -hmm. Let's take it. You know, he's an engineer. So you're going to go right. step one, step, step two, by step, step, by step by the numbers. Right. We're, we're not going to skip numbers. We're not going to play around here, folks. We're going to go by the numbers because <clears throat> Don is an engineer. He wants everything to, you know, to fit right and find in, the right in, fit for in you. In the box. Mm -hmm. Yep. And because what we what we saw consistently was that people would, you know, <clears throat> they they'd create something and try to give it away. And that didn't generate any sales or attract any clients. So let me make something else and give it away and make something else and give it away. And that's when Don said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, stop it. <laughs> Just right. stop it. You know, because, and I like what uh, Mr. X said, almost said his name, <laughs> but, uh, and there's a reason why he's wanting to be known as Mr. X right now because of some uh, things in his life from a traumatic brain injury and, things of this nature. And I'm just going to leave it right there. So we're not playing, you know, little boy games or anything because, you know, little girls don't play those games. It's just guys do. Yeah. We got a patent on that. But uh, anyway, uh, I like what Mr. X said when he says, if it's not worthy enough for you to sell, right. It's not worthy enough for you to even give away. Think about that. Right. And people have a tendency to tell uh, people who have been in maybe in business a little longer and they're trying to mentor somebody, oh, you got to give it away. You got to give it away. Mm -hmm. Give them a freebie. Give them it to them free. Well, first of all, um, if you're giving away all your secret sauce, folks, in the beginning, what do you have left to give? You've got nothing to draw back on. Yeah. Okay? They're good. So, right. So when a customer comes to you, They've already gotten everything. And now you're like, well, that's all I got. And it was free. So sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, free doesn't have any value. And right. Donna and I, we were talking about this before the show. Get rid of the word. Get, yeah. Get rid of free because right. if it's free, how good can it be? Take a lesson from the airlines. Mm -hmm. Now I don't fly anymore. I've quit flying back in 2015 or something like that. I just got tired of the racket with, airports and airplanes because every time I'd go there for some strange reason I don't know why Donna but
but I have to go through baggage. You know, they check my bags and all that, and, and they take off my shoes and run that wand under my feet and all that. And some of them boys want to play touchy-feely. <laughs> and I'm not that kind of boy. You know, no, but I mean, I hate airports and, you know, the hassle and the planes right. and all that. I, I prefer to, you know, it might take me an extra day but driving or something to and from. But you know what? I can stop when I want to. Yep. I don't have to worry about no rental car. I don't have to worry about none of that stuff. And uh, <clears throat> the, the point that I wanted to make about that is that, you know, the airlines, they give you complimentary drinks. Mm -hmm. So after you attract the client, I want you to get this in, in your mindset, ladies and gentlemen. Right. A client is a potential customer. That's the way I look at a client. And some people refer to their clients as people they do business with. We take it up to another level. And I encourage you to do that. You have marketing partners. Right. It's got to be win, win, give and take. It's got to be, you got to bless them when you can. They bless you when they can, et cetera, et cetera. It's got to be beneficial for all concerned. It's not just right. one way. And uh, whenever you establish a rapport with someone and they sell something or, you you know, they buy something from you, then think how they would feel. Donna, how would you feel if uh, if you bought a program from me and I, I sent you an email? Donna, thank you so much. I hope you're enjoying the program. If you have any questions, please let me know. And as my thank you to you, I'd like to give you this complimentary gift. Right. And the complimentary gift would be something that I think would be a blessing to her because I've got a relationship with her. I know a little bit about her, you know? Right. And the whole thing here is, folks, which sounds better? Say it to yourself. Gee, Donna, you're going to get a free X, Y, Z. Or Donna, you're going to get a complimentary gift. Hmm. Makes makes Donna feel a little more special because if it's free, that means any Tom, Dick and Harry can get it, you know. Right. But a complimentary gift means that you were thought of specifically. Mm hmm. So brand that into your brain. And we practice what we preach here. We had a, a, a fantastic couple. Uh, they're business partners like Donna and I are all on our radio show. They're in the coffee business. And their company is Mocha Bun, M O K H A B U N N dot C A, not C O, not com, but C A. C A is short for Canada. That's Charlie Alpha. And they're interested in maybe you know becoming one of our marketing partners. And so Donna and I have a standard, and you should have a standard. Pick and choose who your marketing partners are. And learn about them. Yes, because do your homework, do your due diligence. Yeah, because sometimes that 80 20 rule, 20% <laughs> of the people can take up 80% of your time. And uh, I still have, you know, calls from people that, you know, that are wanting my time, wanting my advice, wanting this and wanting that. And that's from years ago because I'm a trusted source and they respect my opinion. But they, you know, they keep coming, keep coming, yeah. keep coming. I keep trying to weed them off and, you know, or not weeding them off, but you're weeding them down a little bit. But, you know, but make sure that you pick the type of potential clients out there that you want to have a relationship, a business relationship with, a marketing relationship. And so one of the prerequisites for us is that if we're going to have a coffee company, we're looking for one coffee company, we're going to try their coffee. So they eagerly sent me and Donna some of their coffee. Ooh, is it good? Ah, uh, let me put up their website here. And this is an example. See, they have not paid for one uh, bit of this advertising yet. And if they do, fine. If they don't, we're not hurt because we've helped them. Always look for a way to be a blessing to your marketing right. partners, you know, especially people that you want to have a great relationship from. Uh, let's see here. Did I have it up there? Oh, do you have it? I put okay. it up there. Oh, okay. And, so, um, what I'd like to really quick say is that Yemen Coffee 
is done processed naturally. It is like almost a hundred percent hand dried beans and there is no acid taste. Mm. It is very smooth. Oh my goodness. It is so smooth and not having that, you know, and I'm a coffee drinker folks. Oh, yeah. I mean, from time I was about eight years old, I'd sneak my mama's coffee. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, I, I grew up drinking coffee and drink coffee to this day, every single day. Mm -hmm. um, and I know good coffee. I'm a bit of a coffee snob. I'm going to admit it. Mm -hmm. I will admit it. And it is amazingly good coffee. It's a very smooth, non acidy type of coffee. Yeah. And their website is a mocha bun there. Uh, I just copied the website right off the website and pasted it right there. Cause sometimes you see that H T T P S I know the S stands for secure. And then right. it may have a WWW, you know, and, but sometimes it doesn't have the WWW. So I, that's above my pay grade, but right. that is their website right there. If you mocha bun.ca. And if you mention that we uh, bragged about them on the show, they'll give you a discount. I think it was 20%. It might be more. I'm not sure, but they will give you a discount and their coffee is fantastic. It really yeah, is. They're really wonderful good. people. And I love this story. I got to tell the story. Oh my goodness gracious. Cause everybody loves the underdog here. And uh, I got to tilt these things back to get my readers here. The bifocals working. I yeah, they're, they're, I think are quad focals. I don't know. <laughs> my high beams are down here. My low beams are up there. I'm kind of reverse of a, you know, being in a car, but sincerely, you know, they, uh, they're the first company to establish a direct line between Yemen coffee producers and South America consumers, uh, thus guarantee a direct and fair trade practice with producers. Right now. They in they are they started their coffee company up there, I think about 2018, 2017, something like that. They hadn't been in business that long, but listen to this. Everybody loves the story of an underdog. And yes, 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 that's me. I mean, I love the I love it when the little guys win. Right. And I'm and this is on their website. And they talked about after our coffee, they went down to where's it out here? Chile? I think it was. Anyway, they were down in South America. Yeah. And it was. Uh, their their coffee scored first place in the Brewers Cup Championship in Chile in 2019. And we decided to share our finest specialty <coughs> coffee selection and expand to North America. And we chose to come to Canada to be the first uh, roastery from human coffee that works from farm to cup and give Canadians and Americans um, access to the unique coffees. And I'm telling you, when I read that, I went holy enchiladas because right. you know good and well, they go down there to Chile. And all these other established coffee companies and these big names, they're going to be competing against them. And I'll guarantee you, I'm, I'm going out on a limb here. <clears throat> and I like to use, you know, little stories that people can easily visualize because going up against the big boys there, it'd be kind of like going to the Kentucky Derby and they think it in your trailer, you got a Shetland pony. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then they, they walk away at first place, the championship and all that. And I'm going like, now that's my kind of people. That's right. the kind of people I want to establish a marketing relationship with. And their coffee is good. No question about it. So please, you know, if you like good, smooth coffee that or, is non acidy, go ahead. It's or, a gift. or a gift. Oh, or yeah. A gift for somebody. Christmas oh, is coming yeah. up. Oh, yeah. Thanksgiving is coming up. So, mm. you know, think about that. You know, if, if you are in the market <laughs> to give somebody a gift of, of absolutely amazing coffee, mm. you know. yeah. They will really appreciate it because it's coffee worth giving. And the little package is unique. I like the package because I got the package and it comes in, you know, the, the heavy brown bag and all. And I was thinking to open it from the top and I saw, you know, to open, pull a little tab. So I pull the tab, right. it opens up in the side, it seals shut and all. 
and that was the coffee. I'm going, hey, that's neat. I've never seen that before. It was really neat, and um, it, it's just it's just great, great coffee. We're really honored to be able to share back with them and also live up to our standard of being good partners when it comes to a marketing relationship. Yep. That's what we do. And down the road as we continue on, we're going to do other things uh, for them that will, uh, you know, it, don't do everything for a dollar. <laughs> I mean, good grief. I mean, don't be like a a car and a and a gas pump. If you don't put the gas in, you're not going to go anywhere. <laughs> you know, go out there and help someone because if I've blessed them today, you know, and if that's all that, if that's all I've done, yeah. That you know, it's when you bless people, you're going to get blessed down the road. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about that because that that is a that's a principle. It's a promise from the universe that the generous person by watering others will be watered themselves. So don't worry about the re, the, re, uh, the return on that. And uh, it's just our honor. And if you mention us, you know, they'll give you a discount. I think it's 20 percent. I'm not sure. But at least Donna, that was a great idea about giving someone a gift because, man, good coffee, yeah. you know. I'm a, I'm a proper, you know, proper woman that way. I'm thinking ahead about Christmas and birthdays and, you know. Oh, are you? <laughs> Here Let's see. In, a, in the private chat, can I send you a list? <laughs> you, you can you send know. it all you want, Jim. Yeah. But you, but if it's not in Braille, you're not going to read it, huh? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I tell you, if I live the B300, I don't think I'll get any respect around this place, but that's okay. <laughs> but, you know, I'm the kind of guy, I, occasionally I'll get asked, like, what do you want for, you know, Christmas, something like that? And I thought, hey, just get me a package of white tube cotton socks because I wear them all the time. Mm -hmm. They're not expensive. I love them and I'll wear them. And, you know, because, uh, you know, some of the gifts you see out there, that they're just so impractical. And... Um, you know, I mean, some of the little kits you get with, you know, fingernails and all that other stuff, you know, for your clipping your finger. I don't use that junk. <clears throat> I got a knife for that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Jim, you're awesome. Yeah. And he also uses a rat tail file. That's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I tell you, you know, but it's, you know, I'm just kind of a practical guy down to earth. Very simple. And, uh, you know, but if you have someone out there that's a coffee lover, oh, goodness gracious, take a look at their coffee. And we tried the um, Arabic. What, what's it called? Uh, I don't have it in front of me, to be honest with you. But yeah, because uh, I cannot remember which one it was. Um, yeah. But, oh, it was good. It was really good. <clears throat> yeah. And uh, yeah, because it's uh, I'll tell you which one it was. Let me look here at the list here. I'll look at the cheat sheet there. I'll let you talk while I'm looking at the cheat sheet here on the coffees there. Uh, let's see. Coffee match. Oh, yeah. But, you know, Don, it's really amazing how <clears throat> they have all types here. You know, the drip, the espresso. They sent you right, the beans. Right. Yeah. They, they just have everything, whether you want to mm -hmm. already pre-ground or you want to grind your own beans. Yeah. So, and, you know, we, we grind our own beans here just because we... Mm -hmm. We prefer that fresher flavor. Mm -hmm. Yep. They they sent me the yolk, the mocha double A plus. It's a Yemen specialty coffee. And they sent me another. Oh, oh yeah. They sent me the one with the Peabody in it. I haven't tried that one yet. And they sent me another uh, little packet. I think it's the limited edition. That's what it looks like. Or anyway, but I'll tell you right now. Uh, you will not be disappointed in their coffee because it is very, very great, very good coffee. And it's a wonderful idea about, you know, if you know someone's a coffee holic, those are, those are nice little packages. So, you know, send them some coffee. You know, they'll yes. appreciate it. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, um, <clears throat> and I don't remember. I think I did try the Mocha A plus, triple A or double A plus. Double first. A plus. Yeah. That's yeah. what I tried. That's the only one I've yeah. tried because I'm going to use it up. I'm going to try the other one, but I'll tell you right now, right. the quality is. And we probably spent, 
in 15 minutes here doing a commercial for them. <laughs> but we've enjoyed it because we love coffee and I know these folks and they're good people and, you know, they got great coffee. So that's an, uh, that's, this is a classic example how Don and I, we're true to our school. Yep. And we want you to understand the importance when you're building marketing relationships. Even though people just buy from you or whatever, you know, you want to build a marketing relationship. You want to make sure that they're, whatever you sell them, whether it's a product, program, whatever, it benefits them. Right. Right. And, and, and you know, showing, the other thing is showing your, your human side. And mm -hmm. your humor, um, that just is uh, an endearing, <laughs> an endearing, now he's reading it, an endearing quality to anybody you work with. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because it's, uh, you know, like I see a lot of shows on, t uh, on the podcasts and TV, stuff like that. And a lot of the folks on there, they act like... Uh, well, maybe I shouldn't say this, but I'm going to say it anyway, because, you know, they can't they're not paying the bills and they can't fire me. <laughs> but they act like they're, they're on the 6 p.m. news. Right. The the personality, because people want to know. They act that you're just. Stiff. Yeah. Hey, how yeah. are you doing today? Oh, it's a beautiful day today. And we're so glad you're here. We're right. going to be talking today about and you're like, oh, my gosh. And we prefer to just laugh and, and be us because mm -hmm. who we are right here is is who we are mm -hmm. in person. It's kind of like our good friend, Mr. Marty Hygard. I, I, we yeah. got to get with Marty and we got to be working on an event with him in, uh, in the Phoenix area. And uh, we're trying to put that together. Going to be getting with his wife, Tessa. And uh, But Marty, having him on the show, he sits there and he's wearing a baseball cap and he's just down to earth and that's our kind of people mm -hmm. absolutely and uh it's it's really an honor for and he donna made marty promise on live tv that he would come to phoenix i did it is my fault he'll be here <laughs> mm -hmm. yep and uh i mean she took the slack right out of the chain on that day folks. <laughs> well that's okay because he made me qu uh, cry twice on t on once three first times, time, three times. You're right. First time on on your radio show. Right. The second time on a radio show, another previous radio show I was doing, mm -hmm. and the third time was on this TV show. That's right. That's right. So next time we're going to be having Marty coming on, you'll see Donna sitting there all ready to go with a box of Kleenex. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but there's a tears of joy that he brings they were out, happy and tears. yeah, they oh were. yeah, oh yeah. And Marty's, uh, his dad, Merle, is a classic example of paying it forward and helping people. And because he was the instrumental in uh, Merle Hygard got is the one that got, uh, you know, by the time I got the Phoenix, Glenn Campbell gave him the break. Because Glenn was a musician. He was a studio musician, did a lot of, uh, of the songs there, you know, did harmony with uh, with Merle. And he signed a deal with uh, Capitol Records like Merle had. At that time, Merle was, he was already a star. Oh, he, he, was, had, a, he was a superstar at that point. Yeah, he already had five, six or more number one hits. And Glenn uh, came to him and he says, yeah, I cut a record with Capitol. They're not doing anything with it. And he says, because that's the same record company that was Merle was with. Mm -hmm. And um, he says, you know, they do. How do you get your records out there? And, and Merle just told him, now you entrepreneurs, listen up. Because sometimes you get lazy, not trying to be cruel. This is a wake up call. Right. And, and Merle says, well, they do a good job, but I don't wait on them. He says there's about 2000 and I'm, I'm paraphrasing this a little bit. There's there were about 2000 country and Western stations across the United States in those days. Back so when Merle got, yeah, you know, when Merle had a record to release, he sent out that record to 2000 mm -hmm. country and Western stations with a personal note, please play this, you know, and anybody that gets a personal message, and a record from Merle Higer, a big star like him. Would you would you play my record and give it a spin, please? Right. Absolutely. And you would keep that note from Merle Higer because it's that's one of those specialty things that not everybody gets. But anyway, in Glenn's case, he says, 
go, they were in Bakersfield, California, go back to LA, come back with 2000 singles. And he says, I will drop your single in there by the time I get to Phoenix with my record. And I'm trying to remember what the record was. Do you recall Donna? I don't off the top of my head, but uh, anyway, before yeah. and, and it's killing me. I can't remember. And this when a guy has was it hmm? Oki from Muskoki? No, that came out in 69. This was before 68 or 69. This came out in 67. Uh, anyway, Merle just uh put the record in there and says, uh, please give this record a spin for it and give see what it do on its own. Both those went to number one overnight. Overnight, yeah. And see, that's and Merle just did it out of the kind of his heart, just like we put up about the coffee people there that are good people. They got a great coffee. We did that out of the kindness of our heart. And um, that's what you need to do, because there's so many people out there that's focused on money. They're focused on only buttering their own bread. And they're miserable. Right. But think, you know, how the the coffee folks will feel when I tell them, hey, be sure and, you know, and look at the replay on this show here. And, uh, you know, because we talked about you and it would, you know, whether it it, it, it uh, enables us to do the marketing relationship with them or not is irrelevant. But the fact of it is we bless them. That's the biggie, isn't it, Donna? Yep. And they blessed us. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, I mean, so it, it, it works in tandem, folks. It mm -hmm. absolutely works in tandem in mm -hmm. everything that that you do. And understand when you build that relationship, mm -hmm. especially if you're starting out, understand building that relationship first is paramount. Mm. Because yes. When you have that deep established relationship of like, know, and trust, then they become a advertising partner for you, if you will. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, right? they because, will. You know, hey, I'm going to tell so and so about your business because, man, I love what you did for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And it's no different than going to the grocery and finding a sale and calling up your friend and saying, hey, Sally. Oh my gosh, you're not going to believe it. We were just talking about this the other day. Guess what's mm -hmm. on sale? So mm -hmm. it works just like that. Yeah, exactly. And uh, it's it's just amazing because, you know, whenever you look for ways to bless others, you're going to be blessed yourself. And it may come from them. It may not come from them. Right. But it doesn't matter because it's coming. It'll come. It is coming. And I'm sitting here smiling because on the ticker tape down there, we, we have fun. And uh, I'm, I'm ignoring it like you ignored mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One day, Donna, we were on live TV and I put down there, Woman of the Year Award winner, Donna Guinwa. And it played and it played the marquee and it played. And I'm sitting here and I'm waiting for her to see it. And she didn't see it because she didn't have her readers on. I had to call her attention to it. And then she, uh, you know, she got the big kick out of it. She told Edgy, her husband, about it. And he got a big kick out of it. And then yeah. one day I said, you know, I'm, I'm like a you know, daytime award-winning TV producer and host, Donna Guinoa. And I told Donna, I says, Donna, not only did I nominate you for that, <laughs> I was unanimous in that vote. So right. that's how you won the award. <laughs> But see, that's how we have fun, because having fun and enjoying laughter, think about building a business around that. Right. I imagine you having that kind of rapport with your, um, yeah, that's the armadillo story. That, that's a boring story. You don't want to hear that. <laughs> but uh, imagine having that kind of rapport with your marketing relationships, right. people that know, like, and trust you. And like Donna just said, hey. If they know of a friend or they hear of someone that's got a problem and you're a problem solver that you can solve, they will refer you because right. they know you, they like you, they trust you, and they know that you will provide the same type of caring service for their friend that, that you, you did for them. them. And if I could, if I could suggest one thing, Sure. If you know personally that someone has referred you, 
send mm. them a personal note in the mail, not on and, the computer. Right. And thank them. Mm -hmm. Because computers are great for a lot of things, but people still like, uh, you know, getting something in your hands because that you personal. can see it, you can touch it, you can feel it. And also, you know, in there, you can put something in there for a free, not a free, a complimentary gift. Right. As my thank you. Complimentary gift. Wow. You know, and it could be, you know, a, a dollar amount, $50 off or, you know, or, right. you know, I knew one guy. Think about this. He was able to, uh, he was in a position to do this, but his complimentary gift, uh, he would send out sometimes a $25 visa debit card that you pick up and buy. And here's a little debit card, $25 for my way of saying thank you. That's my complimentary gift to you. Oh, man. Especially if they're buying, you know, uh, something, you know, if it's, you know, the values there and all that. Now, if they buy a $19.99 product, you're not going to send them a $25 gift card. That would be a little right. ridiculous. But I mean, if they're a long term customer and they buy a lot from you, you know, shoot. And that'd be a great idea for, hey, how about, you know, during the holidays? You know, of course, we some people recognize Christmas, some people don't play it safe right. and just say, I hope you and your family have a wonderful holiday season because it is right. a holiday season. And as just just want to let you know, I'm thinking of you and, and here's a little complimentary gift and send them a debit card. Yeah. Because that comes in handy at that time of year. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. It sure does. So, you yeah. know, but I think the bottom line is having the insight from the get go when you're starting out uh, in a home based business or even a brick and mortar. It doesn't have to be a, a home based business. Right. Is understanding the importance of relationship. Mm -hmm. so yes. Your client, yes, they are your client. That's awesome. But understand over here, they're your client. Okay. But mm -hmm. over here, they're going to become a marketing partner. Mm -hmm. Yes. And those two hands marry mm -hmm. if it's done well. Yes, absolutely. And there's one thing that Mr. X talked about. He talked about a lot. And yes, uh, he did. He gave a great presentation for nine shows. We had him on for two weeks and uh, except for the Monday, which was um, Labor Day. We had yeah. our friend Marty Haggard on played the re rerun on that show because it's always a good show with Marty. It's and, phenomenal. Oh, yeah. And, you know, whenever, you know, you be, you look for ways to build that relationship and do this. This is one thing Don and I said from we we first started speakers pathway coalition selling a monthly membership for people to belong to our coalition we wanted to provide so much value that they could not afford to leave us right think about that when you're thinking about your home-based business how can you provide so much value in someone's life that they could not afford to leave you or lose you. Right. How does that sound to you? I mean, it's kind of like back in the sixties, you know, where there was an old saying, how does that grab you? And, this, and the answer was like a new pair of ice grips. You know, it's a goofy saying guys said that. Okay. Ladies, you probably already figured that one out, but it, but really how does that make you feel? Imagine. You could build that kind of a strong marketing relationship with people and turn clients into marketing partners that Donna was talking about, that they cannot afford to leave you or lose you. And here's, you know, here's another thought. If your product, whatever it is that you're selling, mm -hmm. is, is at a certain level and that you are financially able to do that, a really great way to say thank you is give them a referral fee. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay? 
just a referral fee, whether it's mm -hmm. whatever percentage you're comfortable with, whether it's right. 5%, 10%, 20%, whatever, that's, that's mm -hmm. on you. But a referral fee is really nice because then they have a vested interest, if you will. Yes, yes, yes. We have it set up with the speaker's path. I mean, the uh, six minute webinar, excuse me. I wear many hats, <laughs> but with the six minute webinar, we have it set up when someone wants to become an affiliate with us, they have a special code mm -hmm. and you just give that link to anyone. And when they buy anything, they get a 25% commission. Mm -hmm. And if they jump over to speakers, uh, the scale pathway and buy something or buy something, you know, anything else that we're affiliated with, they get 25% across the board. Boom, boom, right. boom, boom. We want to reward people because you know what? If you don't give that money to the people who created the sale oh. in the United States, you, you got to turn right around and donate it to the federal government for income tax. Yeah. So. That's about as much fun as trying to watch your toenails grow, folks. <laughs> I mean, reward the people who who have blessed reward you. Bless the them back. Who help you. Yes, yes. And we're reaching a time when, uh, you know, we're, it was proposed to us on certain clients to raise that 25%. And when it was brought up, Bill, Don, and myself says, Done. Done. Because these folks in the level that they're at, they bring in such big, huge clients that 25% does not excite them. They wanted a bigger per percentage of it. Done. Right. And we'll set it up like that. Because what, do you, what would you rather have, you know? A hundred percent of nothing. <laughs> A lot of people have 100% of nothing right now because they're too scared to invest in themselves, invest in their marketing partners, and look for ways to invest in your marketing partners, provide training for them, whatever you can do to make yourself right. unique. Because your goal right. in life, listen up now, your goal in life is to make your marketing partners provide so much value to them, they cannot afford to lose you or leave you. Brand that into your brain. Right. That's that's critical. I don't care if you're if you're where you live at, if you're in India, if you're in Africa, if you're in Europe, if you're in Japan, Indonesia, wherever you're looking, you're watching the show at, it makes no difference. The principle right. is the same. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you, you know, think about how strong mm. that is. What mm. a strong statement that says that you yeah. are so appreciative of them referring you and your business. And what you represent with your mm -hmm. integrity that yeah. you gave back to them with a referral fee. Oh, yeah. And with Donna and I, we have so many things that we can bless people with. We haven't shared any of that on the TV show or talked about it because the element of surprise. Right. Right. You know, so saying thank you. And in addition to that, we're going to be doing this and we would love for you to participate in that. Yeah. I mean, oh, <laughs> and that's Donna knows what I'm talking about. And I'm sorry, yeah. I can't. It, it's proprietary and I don't want to I don't want to get in trouble with Donna by saying. Too yeah, much right, to be right. Honest. I'm like a real man. I don't want to do any hard time at the Hacienda. <laughs> 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 but, you know, it's. It is so electrifying when you reach that stage. Business becomes fun because right now a lot of people are hurting. A lot of people are struggling. A lot of people are wondering, is there a tomorrow? Yes, right. there is. Yes, there is. And we got our buddy's website up there, Dr. George Grant. If you go to the Academy of Wellness, you can fill out the information there. He will give you a free consultation because your health is very, very important. Oh, yes. Very, very, very important. And I incur, and there is, there's no money going to change hands here. Okay. So don't tell me you can't afford it. But Dr. Grant will give you a free scanning if you just say, hey, uh, I saw you on the TV show. And that's all you got to say is a TV show because 
Uh, he's on a lot of shows, but if you say the TV show, he'll know which one you're talking about because <clears throat> he's my distant cousin. <clears throat> Dr. Real George distant. Grant. Yeah. Real Where's distant. The, so distant yeah, we're, that you're not related. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah, no kidding. We joke about that. You know, we're if 95th cousins removed or something like that or whatever. Right. But, uh, most importantly, he will scan you. And that scanner he's got, it's no joke. I, I, I think I've said this before. And please awesome. bear with me for uh -huh. going over it again. But he scanned me the first time, and I really didn't know it. And he scanned, let me scan you again. I said, again? He said, yeah, I scanned you before. And he compared before and after. And that's when the four is when he told me to get on the Melaleuca, the peak performance. I finally learned what you call it, longevity for men and yes. women. One box, same thing. And a lot of my red markers turned green. But what blew me away, I'm looking at this big, huge, long, and it's got, you know, medical terms in there that I, I can't even pronounce, much less understand. Right. And uh, he said, uh, Jim, you see, I call my attention to, to a certain item. He said, you see that? He said, you got a problem in your left shoulder, don't you? You got some inflammation in there, don't you? And I had not mentioned that to him. And that's how detailed that scan is. Right. It's a 3D MRI is what it is. It's the most detailed thing I've ever had done. And, you know, I was kind of like, yeah, how would he know that from holding up a little? It looks like a cell phone. It's an right. old scanner right in front of the camera. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it is probably about this big. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It really is. He just, he just pointing it out and said, look here, it's okay. And have me talk into it and all that, you know, say a few things and tell me about my voice. And, you know, it's just, it's just amazing what I can do. But my point being, you probably, there's people out there that's been under a lot of stress. You've been under a lot of worry. And that's really corroded your strength. It's robbed you of your, you know, many areas of your health, your happiness, your everything. You're entitled to have good health. You're entitled to be loved. You're entitled to enjoy the abundance of the universe and not get drugged down in the muck and the mire and what I call the trash of life. Right. You know, you're, you're that special. And don't let anyone tell If someone's trying to tell you you're not special and unique and, you know, if they don't love you, then... You, those people, you know, I know sometimes it may be hard, but you need to get rid of those people. Yep. That's they important. Are, it's understanding that your boundaries are set, folks, for your, yes. uh, you, ha you have your boundaries set for your health. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Your mental health, your physical health. You wouldn't let a robber open you wouldn't open the door to a robber and let him come in your home and say well gee take whatever you want would you so don't mm -hmm. let those people come in and and take out of here and here from yeah. you Close absolutely you. you owe that to yourself that is the starting point of all achievement is to know that right. you know you can take a deep breath and relax and you can say okay I'm going to love myself. I'm going to love others. Now, how can I bless others? Because right now we've blessed two companies. We, we've been able to give Dr. George Grant the Academy of Wellness. Uh, right. we, we talked about him several times. We were able to bless the uh, coffee company, uh, Boca Mun, Mo Mocha Bun. <clears throat> Get my tongue wrapped around my eye too sometimes. Can't see what to say. But uh, we, we were able to bless them too. And that's what you do because that opens up the door to abundance. It does. You, you were born to live in love and abundance. And I'm not talking about material things. No. Nope. Money is the last thing on planet Earth that can possibly make you rich. And I know there's a lot of people out there saying, oh, Jim, are you nuts? You know, but uh, money can't buy happiness. And nope. money, money can't buy love, the agape type of love, the true love, the unconditional love. And it just, you know... Have you ever seen a store? I've been to a lot of cities in my, in my lifetime, down the pathway of life at age 73, and been to a few places that, I, you know, I don't remember too, too well or should not remember too well. <laughs> but I've never seen a store sell happiness. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Because it's such a precious gift that money can't buy, and it's such a precious gift that no thief can ever steal from you. That's how special it is. 
And you're entitled to that through the abundance of the universe. And <clears throat> Donna, I don't even know what time it is. How much time we got? It is to time to close the show, Jim. Mm. Mm. Do we have to go? I'm having fun. Yeah, I know. I uh, know. Folks, we're, Donna and I are going to be back tomorrow. And Michaela's having to take some time off now for health reasons. And uh, But we're going to be back tomorrow. We're going to be sharing some more things in detail about marketing relationships because that's very, very important. And we want to help you. And we're going to give you some information. Uh, we got some complimentary gifts that if you get in touch with us tomorrow, we will be able to get those to you. That'll help you, okay? Yeah. It's our way of saying, in my broken Spanish, El Mucho, El Thankarito, and El Hadioso, and we're out of here right now. <laughs> right. I didn't, we I, want I didn't, to thank I, each and every one of you for tuning in and joining us wherever you may be and whatever mm -hmm. Whatever platform it is you're watching us on, because yes. there are several platforms that we we stream from. So oh, we yeah. appreciate each and every one of you and yes. have a beautiful rest of your day or evening. And we will see you all back here tomorrow. You bet. Goodbye, folks. Have a nice, nice evening, nice day, whatever, whenever you see this. And you know, love yourself and enjoy yourself. You know, you owe that to yourself. Yep, sure do. All right, folks, we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.